Welcome back, everyone. Today, we'll discuss assistive technology in education, our third topic for the semifinals. This is an incredibly significant area for future educators because it directly relates to inclusivity and ensuring that all learners, regardless of their abilities, have access to quality education. Assistive technology refers to tools, devices, and software that help individuals with disabilities perform tasks they might otherwise find challenging. These tools range from simple modifications, like pencil grips for better handwriting, to advanced technologies like text-to-speech software and eye-tracking systems. For students with disabilities, assistive technology can be the key to unlocking their full potential and participating meaningfully in the classroom. Let's look at some common examples of assistive technology and their applications in education. For students with visual impairments, tools like screen readers or braille displays make it possible to access digital content. For students with hearing challenges, hearing aids, or real-time captioning systems ensure they can follow along in lessons. Similarly, for students with mobility issues, devices like adaptive keyboards or joystick-operated computers help them navigate and participate in digital activities. One of the most transformative aspects of assistive technology is its ability to support students with learning disabilities. Take text-to-speech software as an example. This tool allows students who struggle with reading to listen to content, making it easier for them to comprehend and engage. On the other hand, speech-to-text tools enable students with writing challenges to articulate their thoughts without being hindered by mechanical difficulties. As future educators, your role is to integrate these tools effectively in the classroom. This means not only being familiar with the various types of assistive technology, but also understanding when and how to use them. For instance, if a student struggles with writing due to a motor disability, providing them with a tablet and stylus for digital note-taking might be an effective solution. However, it's essential to ensure that these tools are seamlessly integrated into the lesson plan and curriculum to avoid singling out students or creating barriers. While assistive technology has immense potential, it's important to acknowledge the challenges it presents. One significant challenge is the cost of these tools, which can be a barrier for schools with limited budgets. Another challenge is the need for training. Teachers must be equipped with the knowledge and skills to use these tools effectively. Collaboration with parents, specialists, and administrators is crucial in overcoming these obstacles and ensuring the successful implementation of assistive technology. In conclusion, assistive technology is a powerful tool for fostering inclusivity and accessibility in education. By using these tools, we can create classrooms that are not only supportive but also empowering for all learners. As future teachers, your commitment to understanding and applying assistive technology will make a significant difference in the lives of your students. Integrated checkup test with explanations. Question 1. Assistive technology refers only to advanced tools like speech-to-text software. Answer. False. Explanation. Assistive technology includes a wide range of tools, from simple modifications like pencil grips to advanced software and devices. Question 2. Screen readers are an example of assistive technology used by students with visual impairments. Answer. True. Explanation. Screen readers allow students with visual impairments to access digital content by converting text to speech or braille. Question 3. Assistive technology can help students with learning disabilities by providing tools like text-to-speech software. Answer. True. Explanation. Text-to-speech software enables students with reading challenges to listen to content, improving comprehension and engagement. Question 4. The cost of assistive technology is not a challenge for schools. Answer. False. Explanation. High cost can be a barrier for schools with limited budgets, making it difficult to acquire and implement these tools. Question 5. Teachers need training to effectively use and integrate assistive technology in their classrooms. Answer. True. Explanation. 
Proper training ensures that teachers can use assistive tools effectively and incorporate them seamlessly into their lesson plans. Thank you for listening, and let's continue working toward creating inclusive and accessible classrooms for every learner. Glowing Star